President Donald Trump's first speech before the United Nations General Assembly this week made clear that Trump wants to take America down a similar path by diverting much-needed attention from North Korea to starting an unnecessary conflict with Iran. But Trump is having a difficult time implementing a coherent strategy on North Korea. He has picked a fight with America's South Korean ally, whose support is essential. He frequently hurls hyperbolic rhetoric, raising the chances of miscalculation that could lead to conflict. And he talks as though war is inevitable, a theme he reiterated before the world's leaders when he said, Rocket Man Kim Jong-un is on a suicide mission for himself and his regime. With obstacles this great, Trump should be providing leadership in pursuing an effective international strategy to deter North Korea, reassure U.S. allies, add sanctions pressure, and engage in real diplomacy. If an Iran-style nuclear deal had been on the table at any point with North Korea, the United States would have jumped at the opportunity, and in fact came very close to making the agreed framework deal with North Korea work in the 1990s. Tearing up the Iran deal would be the strategic equivalent of shooting oneself in the foot. But that's exactly what Trump seems to want. In his UN speech, Trump placed the Iran nuclear deal in his sights, the Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. Believe me. Recent reports back up this message that Trump intends to rip up the deal, and the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, almost said as much in a recent speech on Iran. In 2002, less than a year after invading Afghanistan, President George W. Bush used his speech before the U.N. General Assembly to make the case to the world for action against Iraq. Let's hope, when history looks back on Trump's first U.N. speech, it's not viewed as the opening salvo in a completely preventable war with Iran.